Hi guys and welcome to my short tutorial on how to use the department's memory card readers. So when you've finished filming you will need to back up the footage that you have captured on the department's camera. To do so you're going to need to remove the SDHC or the memory card from the camera. I have a camera here and on this model there is a slider. If you slide that across the memory card will be blue. Press in and it should pop out and there is your memory card. You will need to back up all of the footage that you've recorded onto your memory card because all footage has to be deleted upon return of equipment. So here's your memory card. On these cards you will see at the side there there is a very small little slider. Sometimes that slider can get accidentally pushed down which means that it locks the card and you're unable to access the footage on the card. So make sure that slider is in the unlocked position. So next up, grab your memory card reader. Um, there may already be one in the case with the camera that you've borrowed from me. If not, please drop me an email and you can come and collect one of these from the department. Pull the cord out. You'll see on the front of the memory card reader is a various uh, collection of slots for different types of cards. The cards that you will be using slot in into that top slot there. So press in like so. Now I'll show you what happens when you plug in this USB connection into the PC or laptop that you're using. Okay guys, so with your memory card reader, with the memory card in the slot ready to go, this USB connection needs to go into a spare USB slot on the computer. So push that in. You should then hear a noise to tell you that the computer is detected and usually you will get a message come up on the screen to tell you that it has been connected. So go to this folder down here and then down the side here if we slide down USB drive G that is the memory card reader. It may come up as an external drive E but on this computer it's coming up as USB drive G. So that's the card. We click on that. We go into private AVCHD BDMV stream and then in here these are the videos that have been captured on this camera. So these are the videos that we need to copy onto our computer. So to do that the easiest way is to select the first one Hold down the shift key and select all of them and then right click, copy and then go to a folder that you have created and then right click and paste and then you'll see that the computer will then copy all of the footage that you have on your card into the folder on your computer. Wait until this is 100% completed. Okay, so that's 100% complete. And you will see all of the footage that was on the memory card is now in the folder on your computer or your laptop. Um, it's also a good idea, you can also back this up using OneDrive, so you have an extra backup on your backup. So when you've done that, close that window, come down here, go to the safely remove hardware and eject the memory card reader and pull that out of the USB port. It's important that you do that at that point because then it rules out any chance of you actually doing any video editing using the footage that's on the card because obviously I've had some students where they've done a lot of work, they've worked very hard and produced um, an edited piece of footage using 
the footage that's still on the card. The card's then been pulled out, it's been returned to me, and I've deleted the footage. So when they've come back to their project, they've lost all of the footage that they were using, they've had to start again. So avoid that, and always back up your footage from your camera onto the computer, just how I've demonstrated, before you bring the equipment back to me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another tutorial.